Okay, time for a little side quest. Break up the building monotony. <laughs> ah! We're gonna... Oh, no. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers. It is I, Les Grumbles, and I've decided to return with a discreet, discreet, as is for me to say, <laughs> video on YouTube with some more seven days. Lightly modified, uh, version 1.0 with a couple of quality of life mods. Basically craft everything from all the boxes and a slight HUD tweak to show me my hunger and thirst as a percentage on the bottom left. And some adjustments at the top shows me temperature, altitude, uh, time of day, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, what we're going to do today, because I was doing a short series on Blood Moons for my first ever goes of the game. But uh, I decided that uh, whilst that went, it had its ups and downs, the third one, unfortunately, kind of bugged out on me. So I've decided uh, to turn the Blood Moons off for a little bit and just, you know, carry on getting familiar with the game. We did some live stream stuff. We did some Twitch integration with no mods with Damien together. Um, but anyway, I uh, we progressed a little bit on this one on my own. Uh, and I've decided to turn the Blood Moons back on uh, whilst we have a little bit of a play around with some building pieces. <laughs> this is our home base on this this one. I got this bit of metal, uh, whatever it's called, scaffolding type thing. Um, but I found these uh, little ramp pieces they're supposed to be. But you can turn them up on end. I saw a YouTube video about uh, these and it just inspired me. I've been watching a lot of The Walking Dead. I know there's quite a lot of rambling going on right now. I'm trying a new tea out. Maybe that's why. Anyway, uh, I've been watching, uh, re-watching the, the Walking Dead. And uh, I thought, you know what? Uh, it'd be quite fun to build like a little hilltop thing here in this sort of grassy area. We've got quite a lot of space. However, uh, I thought that it would be useful to give some of these things a go, uh, a, a, a trial run. Made some metal fence links as well. I'd, so I've still got so much to learn with this game and, and especially with the building. I've, I've barely done any. This is just a fixer-upper we found. So we've got the old raid base fixer-upper. And what I'm thinking to do is basically... We'll use cobblestones, I think. 1,500 I get with that. 1,000 for the metal pieces. So not that good. The fence is only 300. So it's not even as good as wood. Um, but we'll have a go. Oh, these are quite good as well, by the way. 12, 2,500 for metal bars. Uh, we're going to have a go at building a sort of multi-layered defense perimeter around the other house. Uh, just, just for funsies. Just to see what would happen. So we're going to need a whole load of building cubes. We're going to need a whole load of cobblestone, which means digging a whole load of clay. Uh, we've got food and water. We're really good on food and water, actually. I've, I've, I'm glad that I've kind of worked that out now. Uh, we have our mini bike, which we achieved. Uh, yeah, so I think... Uh, also, we've got a little bit of armor. I'm able to make level 3 armor now. So we've got some decent... I've got mostly scavenging stuff, because it's good to get all the bits off the... You know, everything you can take about. But also, I've got the rogue hood to uh, buff my loot. Uh, and yeah, we've got a hunting rifle, uh, so a tier two rifle. We've got a pump action shotgun, found those. Thanks to our rogue hood, I think. We've got loads of coins. Uh, I haven't gotten into any electricity or anything like that. So I suggest we just start by going and having a look at quite what bad shape. Uh, this isn't really a planned out video. We're gonna go and have a look and see what shape our raid base is in. Uh, there we go. It's got a great little horn. <laughs> it's me going around spamming the X key all the time. This doesn't bring them out. I don't know why. Bring out your dead. Bring out the dead. We've got water there as well. Could make a nice feature there. So yeah, uh, we've done a little bit with the first two uh, traders. We've got to... to Jin the cleric, as well as old uh, rude rude face over here, wrecked where we started. 
Uh, yeah, let's go and have a look. I, I think it's the the raid base is pretty beaten up. Uh, the third time out, the one that bogged on me. Unfortunately, we did die halfway through the night, and then for over an hour of in-game time, about two to three o'clock or something, and maybe a bit longer, uh, nothing else spawned in and attacked. And then I re-logged, and then for the last less than an hour, there were some more attacks and stuff which I survived, but. I don't know, I still haven't brought myself to put that up on the tube, so maybe I will one day. Uh, but here we go. Now, I might do some more cuts and edits in this one to keep the length down. We'll see how it goes. So, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, it's pretty beat up. So, I've turned it back on to seven days. Um, it's day 30 afternoon. I don't know if that means that we're going to get something on like day 35. So we might have five days to get something built here. We might have seven, but in any case, uh, oh, it's such a mess. This one, we do have the little platform up there. So, you know, we've got, we've got somewhere that we can retreat to, but what I'd like to do is have something that's more, I so I can go in and out of it more without all the jumpy jumpy. I don't know if I'll, I'll get fully away with that. Um, and then yeah protect the corn protect just build a protective perimeter or, or a strong perimeter or actually two perimeters i want to build um and have them kind of like shoot shooting them down where they're outside obviously entirely and then if they get through the first perimeter it takes them a little bit longer to get through the second perimeter before they start hitting them. well we'll probably have spike walls in between as well uh but yeah using those upturned ramp pieces i i have a vision uh, and what I want to do through the series, if we can keep going with this, which means if people, you know, come and like it and watch it and enjoy it, uh, then uh, if it vibes well, then uh, I'm going to try and build, I'm going to try and turn the main base into a sort of walking dead hilltop type arrangement. And we'll take it from there. But this worked quite well with the defensive wall. I mean, I say it worked quite well, to be honest, I... I died like halfway through the night. They got there. They got to me. There were too many. There were dogs. There was, there was all sorts going on. And yeah, I guess I have to upload that so you can all have a giggle at it. Anyway, um, yeah. So one of the things actually, I need to check the status of this. We did last time is I built a couple of these metal fences, and these are all. So they haven't attacked those. I suppose they didn't need to because they got through there so quickly. Why is there like battle music going on? Don't know. Okay, so what we're going to need is a lot of clay and a lot of stone, um, which means some diggy diggy hole. We've got lots of wood here to get us off and running. I thought about making the big fire axe, but I don't, I'm not convinced by it. All right, let's go. We'll make a start. And if, I figure if we spend couple of days trying to shore this up we've got good food we've got water 69 percent food right now it's so loud it's so loud when you knock the trees down <laughs> uh yeah meanwhile i'm trying a decaf tea classic tea it's got a lovely taste to it i have to say found of late the caffeine's been putting me to sleep more than waking me up so don't know what that means is wrong with my head or me whatever it's quite nice it's, it's a hot day today so if i start melting down and jibber jabbering even more than i feel like i already am then uh, yeah we'll see maybe this never sees the light of day either <laughs> um but there's a lot going on especially rp wise we've got atlas running right now dark side rp um, and I know the last, I think, three weeks is one of the longest gaps I've had for YouTube videos, discrete YouTube videos. Obviously, all the VODs go up there. And there's a few shorts and clips and things like that. But proper, like, one to two hour YouTube videos. Uh, been a bit of a struggle for me lately because of the heat waves and that. So I'm just making that extra effort today. <laughs> so if nothing else, even if the video's not that good, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> because I made the effort <laughs> in the heat. 
Don't worry about all the XP and all that. I'm just playing on my own on this one, so it's just to make my life, you know, a bit easier while I'm learning the game. Um, maybe one day we'll do a hardcore. I'd love to do a proper, like, Walking Dead S. Like, a Walking Dead with a little bit more comedy in it. I think it'll be super, super fun, but, you know, aligning the stars, getting, getting the right group of folks together who want to do that and really, like, live as their characters in the world rather than play the game it's tricky it's always the it's always the difficult thing when you want to role play um okay i find so let's go nothing wrong with playing the game it's not a criticism but if you want role play it's a different mindset and a different kind of approach you have to take to it and i feel like this game's got tons and tons of role play potential Right, I'm just replanting these because we're going to need a lot of wood, so why not? Du -du -du. By the way, here's something for you as well. This will make some people chuckle, I guess. I was watching a bit of Walking Dead in the background while just checking some settings earlier on this before I went out and did all my chores and stuff. And you, you have to laugh. It's not advisable because if you're a little bit prone to jump scares and that like I am I couldn't work out if it was in here so every time there was a zombie noise basically <laughs> I was checking multiple monitors going where's that happening am I about to die horribly <laughs> so yeah don't play seven days to die while watching the walking dead um yeah anyway so, I don't know, uh, I might, I'm kind of tempted to even remove all of these. But we're probably going to want a spike wall anyway, right? So I suppose one of the easiest things to do would just be to repair these up. We're going, still going with wood here. We, we do have metal production now, but not that much. I did put my, oh no, that condemned sign I think was always there. But yeah, okay. So that, they didn't actually attack that other wall. What I don't know at this point is whether they didn't attack it because uh, they didn't need to because there was already sufficient holes to get in or uh, I don't know enough, I don't have enough experience in the game yet and I don't want to read up on it because that almost feels like cheating when you're brand new to something. I'm not sure what the AI, what the logic is. Like, does it treat that as like, oh, I better just go around this barrier? Or does it treat it as, uh, I will attack it, but only if there isn't already another way through. So these things do do a job. They do cost us XP as well, though, because we don't get anything for that kind of trap. There's probably a whole bunch of these that are a bit weakened as well. But I don't want to spend for... Actually, I've just realised I've got a bloody hammer here. Should be using my hammer. Boom. Use the hammer. Probably people screaming at me in the comments. Use the bloody... You got a hammer. I think I've made the tier 1 hammer. Found a tier 4 wrench, which has been good. We're getting bits and bobs. Probably should have a bunch of things cooking. Up in the background, don't know. At least you got a decent range with these tools. Okay. Ow! Oh, it was bound to happen. Ow! Did it have to happen twice though? Don't think so. Okay, we'll take some of these down if they prove to be later on in the in the way. Makes things a bit quicker with this hammer. We might need to take some of the things away, like those stairs. Ow! Okay, can't get to that one from there. Okay. Now, even while the blood moon has been turned off, I've noticed that every once in a while there's like these little mini hordes. Not mini hordes, uh, like little groupings of zombies that kind of wander through. And sometimes they don't hear nothing or get drawn to you. 
And other times, you know, you're running the furnace or, you know, things like the water. There's various things in the game that draw their ire, their attention, draw them in. And uh, there's nothing like doing a little bit of like, you know, farming or you know, gathering some materials or cooking at the furnace or something like that. And then all of a sudden it's just like, blah, 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 things come running at you. This game's just kind of chef's kiss for the whole keeping you on your toes. I like it. Even some, I don't like it, but I like it, if that makes sense. Okay, I'll probably cut this down a bit. You don't need to, once you see me hit a couple of these. There we go. Right. Okay, looking good, looking good. All right. So, but what I want to do is start expanding these barriers out. So what we're going to need is a whole bunch of these. How many can I make? 300. Seems excessive, probably isn't. Let's start with 150, no, 169. And I'll show you then what I'm what I'm thinking of. I might also make more of these metal barriers, but so kind of what I want to do is oh, also last time they came into the back here super super fast. So I kind of want to make it more difficult, like not worth their effort. So let's see, what we're also going to need is our shovel. Let's do that for now. I think I've got quite a lot of clay in the, uh, in the forge. All right, so I'm going to do some diggy diggy hole. But this, this, the back here didn't seem to fare all that well. Now, I've got to avoid leaving a, a ditch. I don't want them digging underneath. I'm just trying to level the soil out here. Level the terrain out of it. Maybe this will stop them from uh, charging up over the hill with bugles sounding. So we're going to make up a whole load of cobblestone and we're going to try and go with some uh, some of these barriers that I like the look of. So again, bear in mind, bear with me as well, I'm totally new and I'm not trying to like win the game or something, you know, I'm not com competitive in that degree, but I love the, and I do enjoy the challenge. So what I've got is... There are these pieces. Where am I? Are these my favorites? Toggle favorites. Yes. Oh no, don't. That's not what I wanted. So where's, where is my favorites then? I had, I set a favorite earlier. Okay. Anyway, so ramp. Uh, I need the complex shapes on. And then there's this one. Where is it? Uh, it's a six meter ramp. Let's see if I can find it. Six meters, right? Ah, oh, here it is. It does have a, a thing on it, right? So you've got this ramp. Normally you'd place them like that and build up or down or whatever. But as those that know will know, you can also rotate uh, for this kind of funny business like this there you go and then they work as like a um like a car barrier you might see like in a parking lot or something like that so i'm gonna see we'll start i'm gonna bring this out a bit further make it i want to make it more difficult for them at the rear there um so if i put these down these are really cool uh so they slope a little bit and you could put them Oh, never mind. I've botched it. There you go. You could put them back to back like that. And they make a quite a nice looking like roll barrier, right? I think that looks pretty cool. I like it. And the thing is, you can build up on, obviously, on either side, right? Oopsie, I pressed the wrong button. 
Uh, so I want to take copy rotation. There we go. And they make a pretty neat corner. Um, where did that piece go? Oh, here we go. So uh, if I do copy shape and oh, did, that's not going to work for me. Oh, I'm hungry. Okay, I wonder what that was. I thought there might be a zombie next to me. No, I just went past it. There should be. You should be able to skip back one in this. Oh. There it is. Boom. Right? So like that, it's got this nice... And then you can put other things in the corner. And I found this really neat one. Uh, this filler one. Trim uh, half ramp. Where is it? What's ramp crown? I don't know what that is. Okay, here. So ramp incline baseboard filler. I think it's that one. And yeah, again, you can do the advanced rotate. Look at that. I thought that looks kind of cool. You could have a couple of those. Like that. And it would feel like a nice corner of a barrier or something. See, I, I want to be able to shoot or stab over them and things like that. But I'm also thinking about putting chain link one higher or ju even just building the wall up even higher um but let's just see again we don't want to get too carried away we're just starting out with the design we're definitely going to need like three million of these aren't we now i'm thinking if i put spikes in front of them we've got to get ourselves some traps as well i'm not quite I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I actually am up to the point where I could make a generator. I don't think I can make electric traps yet, um, but I am investing points in that direction so that I can, uh, uh, what do you call it? So I think we're there. Oh, did I get it? Nice, I got it. I think we're there. Looking pretty good there. Um, maybe I should have. Well, I don't know. Because they've got this little hillock here to uh, climb on top of. So. Oh, I've made, the, I've made too much of a hole there. Classic. Oh, no. There we go. We've got something. Now I've got to be careful. I might need to fill some in there because maybe they go. They're going to want to. Maybe they're going to want to dig through that. Uh, looks like I've got to dig here. There we go. Um, more of these. Boom. Done. So <clears throat> the other thing. So look at that. That's. I know it's only the building pieces right now, but if you could picture those in like cobblestone, in fact, here we go. We'll, we should have enough to uh, upgrade a couple here on the corner. Let's have a look. Let's see what this looks like. So here's the wood, right? Which gives you about 500 pieces. And I think I, I like this corner wedge thing. That's kind of cool. Um, okay, and then, oh, did I leave my cobblestone at home? Hang on, can I make more, make more cobblestone? Cobblestone rocks. I don't have any small stones. Where's a rock? Where's a rock to hit when you need one? What the flippity flop? Maybe this is some rock? Kind of looks rocky. Ba -ba 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 oh, really? Did I make that joke? I sure did. Nope. It's not. It's that's dirt. Oh, there's a rock. Oh, clock's ticking again. Spooky. Actually, I need to eat because hungry it said I was. I've got steak and potato meals. Gang, that's how well we're doing for food. And yucca juice is my go-to, my my drink of choice right now. Oh, also nighttime they're going to be running around faster, and there's going to be ferals. 
I just thought of this, so I don't need to be over here. Oh, there's a book I can sell there. Nice. I need some more stones, though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, not loaded. A not loaded rifle. Bad. Bad one. Okay. I don't have a silencer, so... Okay, I know we're going to need a lot to get cobblestone. Might even have to just go with wood, but I don't... It's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Depending on how many days we've got <laughs> and how I hold up in the heat. All right, so cobblestone rocks. All of them. Cra oh, 69. What? What are the chances of that? Shouldn't leave my bite there either. I've, I've gotten into a good habit. So let's have a look at this if I show you the difference. Um, so 500 for the wood. 1500. Nice. Hello. Fifteen hundred. Let's give it back in. Take that. Okay. So that's huge. Look at that. I think it looks pretty cool. When if you see it in cement, the sign scared me. I was like, why can't I move? It's gonna look even better. Run out of cobblestone already, okay. Alright. But hopefully this might even make them behave slightly differently. Because what I'd like to do ideally with my viewing platform and all that is put some traps and all the goodies like up front here and maybe try and draw them in around this way. So like, I'm not sure if this will count as a wall, uh, if they want to attack it or not. Again, it's all going to be experimental. Um, I did see a video that said these ones were kind of weird that the zombies would like go around them And I'm okay with that Because aesthetically I like, I like the look of it So this is gonna be like outer perimeter This is more like inner perimeter, but we, we're not gonna go over We're not gonna have time to go fully over the top to that degree We get one or two friendly zombies just wandering up going, Hello there, how you doing? New to the neighborhood. We might be a good test to see how they behave. But the thing is, I'm thinking of building up, because I want to go for more for aesthetics than that anyway. Uh, I'm thinking of putting the chain link things or something. I did some testing earlier, and apparently I can shoot through both the chain link fence. Obviously, you could, you know, aim directly at a piece of the chain link and it wouldn't work but generally i've tested with a bow and a rifle and you can shoot through uh and also um also what was i gonna say um you can fire through that little like looks like wrought iron gate kind of thing that i've got going on back at the home base and i th thought previously that I wasn't able to shoot through it so i don't know if that was a bug or you know what the deal there is? Oh my god, this is a feral big guy. That is not cool. Oh, here he comes. He's angry. Oh, he's angry at that fence. Down you go, son. Okay. So he was, unfortunately, he was the wrong side. I suppose I could have waited to let him get here, but I also thought he's going to wreck half me. The wooden things, mind you, that's a good reminder that the wooden things didn't hold up much last time, so. <laughs> okay, so we're going to need loads more stone. We're going to need loads more wood. Um, and I'm going to put these up. And then either, what I was thinking is, either um, we go with, uh, not with the same one, with the next one. This is piece number two. So there is also piece number one, right? So we could 
And this would be one I'm, I'd be really, really curious to see in the comments what people think. But we could go with that as well. Or well, that could be the like the corners to make it look more solid. Um, and then I'm also thinking of building on the corners. Oh, hello. Oh, madam. Bye, madam. Uh, I'm also thinking of building some like outer perimeter like watchtowers. So, it, yeah, just again, <laughs> watching too much Walking Dead and getting too many crazy ideas. All right, I'm going to go off. I'm going to harvest a load more wood and some stone. Oops, i got to press the other button. Well, I don't have any wood there. Uh, and uh, yeah, come back and we'll carry on doing some building. Stay tuned, folks. Okay, so we got through the night. There was a downpour. Uh, a couple of other zombies, nothing special. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, we've got the cobblestone with the wedge corner at that end. And at this end, we've got this idea for a watchtower, maybe. Uh, with a too high wall and the wedges all in wood. And then I've added wood to uh, all the bits along there. So yeah, starting to uh, come up with some ideas and some shapes. Awfully long way to go, though. Got to go and get a whole load more trees chopped and at least get the wood perimeter up. At least that. Ideally, we're going to have cobblestone on the outer perimeter. And I got a whole load more spikes to make. And I got to move them uh, or put an extra row on the outside. Still don't know if the zombies are going <laughs> to, what they're going to do with that wall. Should be fun. All right. See you in a few moments. I am a dwarf in a building a wall. Buildy, buildy wall. Buildy, buildy wall. All righty. That is all of the low wall done i left this gap here i'm thinking about having my kill box around here somewhere uh but i have built the low cobblestone wall using the ramps upturned with the corner wedges all the way around and at the back i just decided to go with uh too high wall uh actually i want to upgrade that like that uh, I dug away some of this so that they can't do any sneaky little jumperinos at the back. Uh, this might need to go further back again. Possibly, yeah. Let's uh, upgrade that. Uh, let's dig a little bit further back here. I was thinking it could be handy for me to be able to get back in if for some reason I've had to panic and leave the base. Uh... And yeah, it's uh, it was a lot of banging and hammering and stuff, but uh, we got there. We got it done. See, I, c I can make it in easily. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the old Zomberinos, not so much, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm having fun doing this. It's uh, I also ran into a little bit of a snag here. Had around the corners off, but I found this piece. which looks pretty cool. Upgraded that to cobblestone, and then I put another line on the front of it there. So that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I I can't wait to see the comments of that. Everybody be like, no, this has all been tried before. This is... The <laughs> you're making it worse. So I'm thinking that we could have something here like a garage door and that. I don't think I can make those right now. Is that something up the street? I don't think so. Oh, just paranoia. Um... Yeah, I also got myself the fire axe and I had my woodcutter modification thing on my stone axe. So I swapped that over and this holds up pretty well. A lot more stamina use. But anyway, uh, these trees that I planted in the, earlier in the video, that uh, those are halfway grown now. We've got some more up the street there. We've got a whole lot more to plant. So uh, onwards with the plan. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this too high, but... I am thinking I might try, since I found I could shoot through it, um, I need something like railing-esque trim, no, there's probably some other trim, like there's so many building pieces here, I'm sure I'm going to find stuff uh, that I like and that I want to use in future, um, 
important parts uh destruction no these are all the broken pieces uh i want something oh wait get rid of that okay that's why i couldn't see nothing security gate centered security gate security gate plates dynamic great what the heck fake security gate no no i need a real one dynamic great security gate plate what does this look like so this is for the floor so we could we could have some of that interesting okay as well as the fake bit i guess collapses in somehow so many building pieces all right security gate centered yeah no that's that i don't like that okay it's too thick anyway uh it's not going to be possible to shoot through that all right i'm gonna have a little look through here and find something uh we've got these railings let's see railings what do railings look like yeah i guess we could shoot through those yeah reasonable possible how do they look on here uh oh wait no okay how does that look i mean that's pretty that's pretty good so the question is actually let's go quickly up here and have a look so you guys can see my dastly handiwork i repaired that door finally ow how many times i'm gonna i'm also thinking i'm gonna get rid of this stairwell because that's how they get up to me so easily <laughs> and replace it with like some jumpy stairs or something in the end i want to try and tidy this place up so it doesn't have to look so fortified but it is a raid base so look at that that's pretty cool isn't it so if they're stuck and they're I, I need to make the choke point narrower i guess but this is pretty cool though we should be able to shoot through there through that gap um, yeah, it's hard to tell without someone to put an arrow into. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to shape up. It's starting to shape up. We've got loads more wood we're going to have to get with this new axe. So I've gone from getting five apiece with the mod on the stone axe, level five, to the level three fire axe with the mod, uh, woodcutter mod that gives me a wood splitter where it's cool. That gives me nine per, per swing. So hopefully that offsets the, uh, extra stamina a bit we'll see um but yeah there you go so that's that's the new outer perimeter and then oh I, by the way i went back to my base and i raided all the cobblestone and all the wood and all the clay and the stone that i had so this is costing me <laughs> like all of my building resources but hopefully it's going to be worth it all right and then we still need to build like an inner perimeter although it might just be a lawn full of spikes but i'm already getting sidetracked in my mind i'm side questing myself thinking oh i was just down there and i was like oh we could have a little garden area there now like grow some stuff and start making this the main base and all that it's so ridiculous why the the whole point of this place is that it gets trashed oh well anyway one day we'll get around to building hilltop all right onwards i'll see you in the next bit oh my goodness i don't know what i'm gonna do for the inner the inner barrier all right we'll see what i come up with okay time for a little side quest to break up the building monotony <laughs> ah we're gonna oh no ah uh, so that happened all right, time for a little side quest to build, break up the building monotony. We're going to see if we can get the uh, the airdrop. But I just noticed it's 8 p.m. Oh, this is this is a bad idea. How can I? Oh, I'm going to go cross country on our mini bike. If I wreck this thing, I'm going to be so sad. OK, give give it some gas we can't make that oh my god this is gonna end in tears it's a time for another good idea bad idea oh nitrate this is gonna end in tears wow i just put some more gas in here but ah 
it wasn't very much oh no my poor bike no oh no mini bike no okay we're good we're good uh, we can get there before nightfall we've got two hours where the heck is it it's oh no it's up on that ridge ah zombies go away oh i don't actually know oh sugar what's the best way to get there all right we'll try this way oh what's the worst that could happen there's a horrible area up here oh more zombies okay i think we're going to be going back home again okay might as well kill you shotguns good night maybe there's some more uh fuel here oh, this is like best laid plans and all that might not have gasoline because of how broken down it looks they nearly always do but obviously not when they're all smashed up like this damn it well this is turning into another one of those side quests good night oh this is just how do i get over to the books probably oh it looks like the road goes from the other side or we'd have to hot foot it over the hill you know what it's 200 meters let's go come on i've been so lazy bones we can do it before nightfall not gonna be anything dangerous up here it's gonna be fine the weather's gonna stay good for us lots of zombies up here ah there's a little mini horde no that's what i was talking about earlier is that even when the big horde is switched off you get those little groups i love it game keeps you on the toes okay 69 meters out let's go gonna be something great here i've got pocket space so that's good oh no can you be hit by lightning in this okay a forge book a hundred cobblestone cubes wow okay that's actually really good let's go home now a hundred cobblestone cubes my goodness that perfect because that's going to help us with the inner wall okay needless to say i've kind of run out of resources again bit of iron there could have been handy but i don't want to be out at night not when there's already roving hordes all right oh sugar oh sugar speaking of i don't have my mini bike on my hot bar either that's a cardinal error terrible mistake okay just 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 keep running we're not that far from home right it's, it's over the hill we'll, we'll be fine go away leave me alone i've got the extra xp thing in this hat and not the night vision so i wish i put my trader hat on while we're not looting do you know what i'm gonna put my trader hat on while we're not looting just in case oh hello madam Ooh, you didn't die to that wow okay he died to that second one huh? my goodness all right well this was a little side quest ah uh, <laughs> bit of rain hot footing it about let's see what do we even get books farming books nice more handy and more wiring stuff okay cool uh out on the hot bar please okay really home really home can't be far now oh there we go home sweet home no bad guys in the backyard no so i've uh, taken the liberty of adding oh sugar these are gone here 
uh, a new way in and out of the of the base uh, the raid base um spikes Get some of these on. Oh, that's a bad idea. One more. There we go. Are they missing anywhere else? Oh, look. Drop loot. That's handy. I'll take that. Oh, another forging book. Nice. And some forged steel and shotgun shells. Holy cow. Not bad looting, considering we haven't even been here. We've got to be careful we don't turn these into uh, iron ones by accident because I'm carrying iron on me. In case I want to put some iron door... Well, I made some iron doors to put up. But yeah, I've started making uh, a few more adjustments. I need my farming gear as well. Let's get these emptied. Oh, it's raining. So yeah, I'm excited to show you some of the adaptations over at the base. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I don't know if it's going to be in three days time, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to carry on getting some more resources and stuffs and things. And uh, yeah, show you the base soon. All right, here we go back at the house. Uh, these are the adjustments that I've made. Uh, I'm thinking about putting a double door there. In fact, does it fit the, the way I'm thinking? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Put my coins there for a second. Uh, da, da. All right. Cool. So I don't know if if I'm going to let them in that way. Like, here, this is the way in. And then, yeah, we'll see. And then I'm going to have, a, like, another door in here. Where I'm behind. And then we're going to put a hole with that cobblestone stuff we found. I'm going to put, like, a kill box in here. And then another layer of walls back here that I can fall back behind. That Obviously, I can shoot from up there. And the other thing I did is I made this new way in and out. Which isn't complete yet. I'm going to make a stairwell to go straight upstairs to the firing platform. That way, because realistically, right, I don't think they can jump that. I don't think they can jump this. I can barely jump it because I'm rubbish. But yeah, you can hop all the way along there. And uh, here you can hop back up from there. There, there's a ladder. This is a bit higher. I don't think the, uh, I don't think the zombies will get here and jump but even if they did they wouldn't be able to jump across here so that's good but realistically i'm thinking about it i don't even need an entrance on the ground floor this is a raid base so it gives them something to aim for i guess uh i just remembered actually ow ow son of a biscuit uh there's a bit of a thing to patch up inside the house i think over here uh now that I think of it, I ran out of wood before. There we go. Do I have any cobblestone? No, okay. Um, but yeah, we got those extra cobblestone blocks. So the two things I think that are missing now are uh, an interior wall to the kill box area over here. Because there's no point in just having them come all the way around. Because even if I'm blasting at them, shooting them, whatever, they're going to be sprinting at night. So... They'll get around here and they'll flood in near the house way too quickly. No matter how many of these I put up, these won't last very long on like the fourth night, the fourth big night, Blood Moon. So um, I'm going to put some more of those in, but I'm going to go for more defensive wall thingies like what I'm doing here. And I'm going to make a, a sort of a, a kill box. And either I can be down here with the shotgun and just bang, 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 because I put some more points in the shotgun. Or I can, you know, I can fall back if they're breaking through. I can fall back to my roof area. So actually thinking about it, I might need a way through here somewhere. Okay. Um, and go back upstairs. Or oh, well, what I was going to do was build another tower over here. Or so I'll build some way up 
to connect up there maybe here i can build another watchtower and get up to the uh, to the roof area if uh, if the ship hits the fan as they say so yeah that's the plan uh i guess i'll have at it <laughs> we'll check back in a few moments later what it looks like but i i thought this is kind of cool so you can now get in and out of the compound with some jumpy jumps and this bit here and then yeah this is just like a very simple i was gonna make a watchtower here and then i just thought ah we'll, we'll save a bit of time and we'll just go for this i think that's pretty cool uh i'm not entirely sure if i need these but i'm probably gonna put these up anyway i think these are pretty cool because we should be able to come up here and go bang like that through there without bothering the wall so that's i think that's pretty cool but this might all have to be wood because i just i'm not gonna have the cobblestone man it's <laughs> i could actually i do have a whole bunch of uh clay and whatnot haven't i okay let's get to making the more cobblestone in the pocket while we do that but also we've got these uh, 100 cobblestone blocks that we were lucky enough now it's gonna be a bit fiddlier because these are blocks uh but anyway copy shape and rotation yes so yeah gotta think about i don't want them going out the back of the house i'm trying to keep them at the front so i'm thinking about having a full back line here kind of thing yeah like that and then i don't know make it out here kind of wide i've got to think about how i'm going to connect that up as well though eh? uh, okay choppy chop quite handy this big x like that and then yeah i don't know how we're gonna what this is gonna go like but we'll probably do a few of these like so oh i got that oh, i got that square block issue again okay that one probably have to be dug up uh oh tiny little plant block in the way again like so but yeah if i go all the way up to the wall then this will be kind of a kill box uh probably have double iron actually i could open that up that stairwell for me to run through or just even have this little gap here oh no that's way too dangerous they're gonna go straight through there so i've got my other double iron doors okay so we're gonna put those down somewhere here like that and we'll go back to this copy that again voila now a lot of this is working on certain assumptions that this is going to be sort of functioning and seen as a wall but yeah we're, i'm going to go for the second bit of height because it's way too dodgy like that now of course if they if they start coming over here for some reason i, I just i don't know so we're gonna i think we're gonna do the thin wall like we got there no 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 we're gonna do this so yeah if i um can i copy that oh i can oh that's pretty neat actually okay and there's gonna be a fiddly bit here like so okay yeah there you go so this is gonna be kill box tastic i i hopefully this is gonna work hopefully we're gonna be able to shotgun through that and from above we should be able to shoot down over it like so gonna be really interesting to see what the zombies do i could keep going to call them aliens oh no that's why it's good to use the building blocks because you can make that little mistake but anyway i should have more than enough for this bit 
Okay, this is good. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be. We're gonna put lots of these spike walls and just everything in it. And what I would ideally, I'll get some of those thumpers. I can. I think I can make that. One. I need one more. I need one more traps book. So we might go scavenging. I need one more traps book. Um, so that I can make, uh, what do you call it? The spinning blade thing. But we're also then, we'd have to install power and relays and all, all things I've not done before, you see. So, don't know how that's going to go. He's getting to me. I think this episode, even edited up together, will probably be part one of a two-parter. With part two coming along where we uh where we wreck face and see what happens. Oh, I wish I could do that there, but no, I need one of those connecting pieces. I need some sort of uh trim or wedge. Alright. Uh let's see, wedge. Alright, anyway, I'll cut it off there and uh, maybe this will be part one. Preparation phase. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see what happens, eh? I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen. Outside corner, what's this look like? Oh, okay. Like that. Uh, yeah, I'll find a bit that fits there anyway, or I'll, I'll just chop one of these down and we'll make some block. Probably I'll do another one of those wedges like over there. If I could grab that bit again. Oh, I can. What? Grab that from all the way over there, no way. Okay, and then I'm going to have to dig the ground a little bit here. By the looks of it with my shovel. Oops. All right. Back with some more. Maybe in a part two. But yeah, this is going to be the kill box extreme. And either it's going to work like a charm or they're going to be like... Yeah, whatever. You left that door open. I don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna bust through the wooden walls over here, mate. We shall see. We shall see. Maybe. I wish I could have trigger plates or something for the doors, or not trigger, but a switch. Maybe that comes later on. I know there's electronic garage doors and stuff. Uh, but yeah, maybe we have to open that one until they get excited enough. Then close it and get the shotgun out and pew 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 pew. Ow. Now, oh my god. Okay, all right. That's gonna do it for this. And uh, yeah, let's see. I don't know how I'm gonna edit it yet, but probably I'll uh, I'll do a two part. All right. Good vibes, everybody. Good vibes. Well, I was just about to round off uh, this preparation video uh, with a little look around, approaching and. Uh, Going up top and seeing what it looks like. And uh, yeah, this uh, cheeky little horde just, uh, or mini horde, just decided to stroll on by. So uh, why don't we try out our defenses, I guess. It's probably a terrible idea. There's one down. Uh, I've gone with the little spiked iron railing look. Everything's upgraded to, or most things are upgraded to, uh, uh, what do you call it? cobblestone uh, but I did uh, run out of cobblestone in the end god this guy's still going okay they're having a go down there so I'm curious if I uh, go over here a bit does it draw them over I can hit and kill them here through the railings that's fantastic this will be a good test, actually. We can see how much damage they can do over there. Okay, neat. I saw one of them dropped a uh, nice chunky bag for me. Oh, two, in fact. Nice. All right. Uh, awesome. That looks good. Let's get this one before I forget about it. All right. Let's have a look now at... Uh, I wish you could see the numbers. Oopsie. So that one's fine. This is down to 120 out of 1500. Holy cow. Okay. 
okay so they really went at that one particular railing there it, that is scary that is scary okay interesting good to know good to know cobblestones i need more clay okay that's easy let's get a bit more clay from over here all right let's take his all for a quick look around and that will round off this uh preparation video hopefully it's gonna work i'm very concerned now i mean that was quite a bunch of chunks in one spot but even so they took that down they, they almost destroyed that top bit straight off but the good news is they do stop and sort of fight at it i guess that was because i was nearest that kind of near that position they were trying to get to me or at least i hope i hope that's why we'll see okay let's get that all repaired up oh dear that makes me nervous now that because there's going to be so many on the night oh <laughs> maybe stronger ones as well okay it doesn't cost too much to repair so that's all right Next up, we need the cement mixer, I guess, guys. Okay. Eee. All right. So, as you approach. Uh, oh, I need to upgrade these bits. There we go. Everything else should be upgraded where possible. Um, all right. So, you've got kill box, which I think the door might have been... I don't know. They weren't that interested in coming that way. So, I'm a bit worried that this isn't going to work at all we'll see and then you've got an interior door from the kill box in here another uh, wall which partially wraps around here with lots more spikes in front of it uh, then let's just upgrade this this is gonna be hilarious so these don't change their look. They just look like these raw iron railings. But they're all fully cobblestoned up as well. Or well, they are now. Uh, I cobblestoned the bridgeway and some of the supporting pillars. Uh, I added a cobblestone ladder here. Uh, so we can get up to our pew pew area. Down is a lot easier. And here I cobblestoned this walkway to get back and forth i've also fallen a few times so it's kind of hilarious uh i've solidified the central holding pillar on the end here actually and the ladder oh ow and the bottom of it. there you go so yeah this looks ugly with the stone but you know needs must don't know exactly what they're going to attack on the night i'm assuming they're going to be coming for me uh, I haven't yet taken the door and all that away. I've secured up the bottom a little bit with some more cobblestone. Um, yeah, and I haven't had time to go and chop enough wood yet to uh, fill out the wooden spikes area. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be... It looks like they're going to break through my barrier wall a lot faster. So what I'm going to do is put spikes all around the outside. Around the outside, around the outside. Maybe on the inside of the wall as well uh and just have it be like uh spiky spiky not metal though that's too expensive um but anyway yeah we've still got this um what do you call it uh, this choke point here uh still held up pretty well but last time they came out the side here as well which was really scary so possibly need to start securing that up although i've got to paint it again because it looks really ugly now but anyway we're getting there i'm gonna i'm gonna shore that bit up because of ptsd uh yeah so that's it so i've gone with these uh, raw iron railing spiky top things uh because i think they look really cool i only kind of remembered them from the other house um but yeah there you go Let's see, what books did we get? Armored up times six. Nice. Didn't give us a boop, though. One time scrapping for fun. Wow. Do you want to give me any more armored up? 
I did get a cup of coffee though. How awesome. And some athletic shoes level one. Okay, we can just grab those. All right, there you go. That is preparation base. Oh, God, I just realized that's all wood there at the back. Oh, no, is it going to be another one of those where I've toughened the front up too much? And they're all going to... Oh, maybe. The bottom is all cobblestone all the way around. But I just realized that I left it as wood for the top part. Oh. Oh, well, you know, live and learn, eh? Live and learn. I'm looking forward to the next... Blood Moon. We'll see how it goes. All right, gang. I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, good vibes.